Think the jungle is peaceful? Think again. Deep in Central Africa, something straight out of a dark wildlife thriller just happened. Chimpanzees, armed with tactics and terrifying teamwork, launched coordinated ambushes on gorillas. Yeah, gorillas. Not some banana brawl or treetop scuffle. This was war. With 27 chimps versus a silverback and his family, the outcome was as brutal as it sounds. These attacks weren't flukes. They were planned, calculated. And now, scientists are wondering if we've just witnessed the start of a full-blown primate arms race. Ready to pick a side, Team Gorilla or Team Chimp? Let's get into it. You rarely see chimps going to war every day. Let us reverse to February 6th, 2019. Location. Gabon. A central African nation, an area loaded with protected wildlife parks and tropical forests. One of them saw something hitherto unheard of. Three females, one silverback, and a baby were among five western lowland gorillas under attack by a troop of 27 chimpanzees, all-out ambush. Remember now that silverbacks are not lightweights. These boys weigh up to 500 pounds and stand six feet tall. Still, the chimp swarm was unstoppable. Even that muscle could not stop it. Three chimps were hurt and attackers were thrown back by the silverback. The statistics, however, were against him. The chimps overwhelmed the group after almost an hour-long fight, grabbed the young gorilla, and killed it. Sure, they kill it to death. Should that not be sufficient disturbance, it repeated itself. The chimps struck once more, in December of the same year. Yet another attack, another gorilla infant slain. The second attack set out 79 minutes, and even if there is video, it's more shaky Blair Witch Project than BBC Wildlife, since no one's dumb enough to get close when two of the most powerful primates on Earth are fighting it out in deep forest. The twist is that usually chimpanzees and gorillas get along. They even share fruit trees without drama and live in overlapping areas. What therefore set off the carnage? According to one view, these chimps had just returned from a territory patrol, that is, the chimp form of looking for trouble. They were on edge, aroused, and maybe running into the gorillas close to a rich food supply. Boom, ascent. But might this ignite an all-out primate war? Allow me to dissect the figures. Typically, chimps top out for males at 154 pounds and for females at 110. Though smaller than gorillas, they have a terrible impact. Tragic human events have taught us this. Chimp attacks have left fingers, faces, and, well, let's just say, important body parts torn off. Strong, strategic, and unlike gorillas, they are aggressively violent by nature. Although gorillas are built like tanks, usually they are peaceful, unless disturbed. Alternatively, chimps? They are prepared to toss hands just for fun. Though most chimp violence targets other chimps, obviously they are not above extending the struggle. Should this hostility continue to grow, the equilibrium of the jungle might change quickly. To be honest, if 27 chimps can eliminate a silverback gorilla, it may be time to consider who truly controls the rainforest. What then is your view, Team Gorilla or Team Chimp? If you are still reeling, Drop a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe for more wild confrontations that sound made but are absolutely not.
when you could simply rip off a limb? Why waste time battling? That is the manner of the chimpanzee, brutal, effective, and horrible. Indeed, some people still hold that cruelty is a uniquely human quality. Obviously, they have not seen chimps engaged in war. Male mammals fight in the wild, mostly to show off, bluffing, roaring, puffing up their chests. This is a program. Nobody is really aiming for death. But with chimpanzees, their terrible exception is what we know. They fight to eliminate, not merely to win. There are now scores of dead chimps from whole, intergroup strife. Indeed, actual documentation of this exists. It is historical, rather than theoretical. One primatologist researching chimp fighting claimed the scenes caused her nightmares. Literal icy sweats. There were others besides her as well. Researchers anticipated some squabbling, not cold-blooded ambushes, coordinated attacks, and well, let's just say YouTube rules won't let us precisely describe what happens. But believe me, it's not banana throwing. And today, chimps are attacking gorillas. Still horrified? Chimpanzees do not only attack, which adds to their scariness. They formulate plans. They apply military-style strategies, once reserved for humans only. Two chimp communities were seen in Western Africa walking into mountainous regions, not for fruit, not for entertainment, but for recon. They scoured the enemy from the high ground, yes, the high ground. When the probability aligned, they hit. This is tactical planning, not instinct. Even more unnerving. They understand when to call it quits, usually loud enough to cause a migraine chimps, but the forest shuts down when they launch an attack. No one else whooping. There is not screaming. Simply computed silence as they slink across enemy territory. They advance, stop, Look around the trees. They strike if they outnumber the enemy. If they are outmatched, retreating. Assemble nothing. Try once more, later as well. But chimp war strategies transcend mere stealth. They armed themselves as well. Indeed, chimps have been seen using their teeth to stab into tree cavities and sharpening sticks. Their goals are, lesser bush babies are tiny lemurs-like primates, Though more like a crude dagger or blunt force stick, the tool isn't a perfect spear, but still works. With enough force to hurt or kill, they jab these homemade weapons into sleeping nests. Not too far off, it should. Since chimps are learning, and this is the first kind of hunting using weapons, their possible rivals, gorillas, behave more like teddy bears, while their construction resembles tanks. Although they move in small family groups and prefer peace to violence, adult male gorillas can hit 6 feet and 500 pounds. That's most likely the reason they missed the chimp attack coming. Aggressive, territorial, and steadily tactical are chimps in gorillas. At least temporarily, they are the gentle giants. But given chimps are improving in stealth, tactics, and tool use, it's reasonable to wonder how long before gorillas are compelled to change from protectors to fighters. Tell us your opinions, Team Chimp or Team Gorilla. Drop a like, hit subscription, and get ready. This jungle conflict is not nearly finished. To be really honest, size counts. Giants are gorillas. 
Simply in terms of muscle, they are roughly 1.5 to 2 times stronger than average humans. The twist is that, despite their Hulk-like power, gorillas are shockingly laid back. Unless they are truly pushed, they do not start arguments. Rare among their own groups are gorilla brawls. Though it's more for show than bloodshed, males occasionally toss down over females now. Dominance for gorillas is more related with posture than with violence. It's as though, I could flatten you, but I won't, unless you make me. Including even the traditional chest beating? That is a warning, not a threat. Like a gorilla advising, let's not do this, bro. And indeed, the gorilla is larger the deeper the sound is. Audio intimidation, a sort of bass drop from nature. You may now be asking, who wins in a full-on war between chimps and gorillas? Though it hurts to break it to Team Gorilla, most likely the chimps. Indeed, one-on-one, -on -one, a gorilla could body-slam a chimp in line with WrestleMania. Chimps, however, fight smart rather than fairly. They roll low. The attack in Gabon in 2019. 27 chimps went against five gorillas and prevailed. Imagine now a chimp army 150 strong, the biggest troop ever recorded. That does not constitute a fight. That marks a beatdown. Aggressive, tactical, and, let us not overlook, emotionally unhinged are chimps. They only attack when they have the numbers, thus you better believe they choose their fights carefully. These guys are planning, not merely brawling. Thus, although gorillas have brute strength, chimps have brains, backup, and a significant mean streak. Still, not all hope has vanished. Plot twists sometimes allow them to get along. Researchers recently saw chimps and gorillas hanging about, like old college roommates in the Nuabale Ndoki National Park of the Republic of Congo. Not only coexistence, but bonding as well. Playing, dining, lounging around with each other. Literal friendships between different species. Not only for a few days, some of these ties lasted more than 20 years. Just why? Food may, however, be the secret. Maybe it's better to chill and share than waste calories on a turf war, since fig trees only bear fruit for a few days. Staying alive is also of mutual interest. Leopards hunt both species. They thus quite likely team up as a natural early warning system. Oh, and let's not overlook the myth. Rumors of a chimp-gorilla hybrid persisted some back in the 1800s. Though naturally lacking evidence, science indicates it is not quite impossible. Though strange, genetically they are near enough to make it reasonable. Will thus friendly, chimp-gorilla relations remain or evolve into fully developed Planet of the Apes? Just time and fig trees will reveal. So there you have it. Chimps aren't just throwing bananas anymore, they're throwing down like tactical invasive species. With their growing aggression, tool use, and sheer numbers, they may just redefine what it means to be an invasive species in their own habitat. Could they be the most terrifying invasive species yet? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe. 
because this primate power struggle is far from over.